This is Michael Degree, a deep sea filmmaker and one of the very few souls who witnessed the fountains of the deep. Um, uh, thank you. Let's party? He perished in a helicopter crash. Now, was he unalive for exposing too much, such as the firmament and the fountains of the great deep? Nope. Uh, no, actually. Therefore, discrediting all of modern day science and what we're told when it comes to our great planet. It will shock you how much it never happened. A mineral called ringwoodite was discovered after a volcanic eruption in Brazil. The chunk of ringwoodite was comprised of 1.5% of water. This indicates that wherever it came from, there's a lot more to be found. What's your point, Vanessa? Genesis 7:11 mentions, on that day, all the great springs of the great deep burst and the floodgates of the heavens were opened. I knew it! This leads you to question what's really in the center of the earth. Wow! Nice segue. <laughs> you know! <laughs> the deepest we ever dug was 7.5 miles. It took 20 years to dig to 0.2% of the distance to the center of the planet. The truth is, we really don't know. Then what are you complaining about? Did we really go to the moon? Yep, 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 yep. And you had over 600 million viewers who watched a live broadcast from over 238,000 miles away. That alone seems sketchy. <laughs> what are you talking about? What are you talking about? <laughs> what are you talking about? What are you talking about? There's also a lot of evidence that supports that we didn't actually go to the moon. What are you talking about? What are you talking about? In fact, NASA has admitted numerous times that they have never been able to reach beyond lower Earth orbit. He lies. We have this amazing photo of Buzz Aldrin on the moon taken by Neil Armstrong. So why haven't we gone back? Get out of here and move forward. So we had the technology to go to the moon, but we destroyed it. Hello, Polly! Polly! Polly Peanut, wake up! All these indiscrepancies are making me consider that maybe the Bible might be right about that firmament. Maybe you should shut up. I mean, why else would the founder of NASA, Von Von Braun, have Psalms 19-1 on his gravestone? Please, accept the mystery. Now here's where it gets even more interesting. I doubt it. What scientists call the Van Allen belt is what the Bible and various other texts refer to as the firmament. Yeah, I don't think that that's true, Dad. The firmament is a vast solid dome that divides the fountains of the heavens from the fountains of the great deep. <laughs> You're right. NASA has even admitted that they cannot get past due to its harsh radiation. But somehow we were able to get past the radiation belts in the 1960s with technology that is subpar from the technology today when we went to the moon. Why must there always be a problem? <laughs> you think just once I could get a break. <laughs>